Hi traders, Nathan Bray here from ACY Securities. Well, we're going to talk about triggering into a trade, folks. So in previous episodes, we've had a look at combining a few different trading ideas such as trend, deep retracements and support and resistance levels. So the question is when this level gets formed and price comes down and respects it, what do we do then? Do we just enter at the level? Well, you could. But another option might be, I wanna zoom in and choose a trigger. Like, what do I have to see happen when I zoom in on that particular level for me to then say, hey, let's just enter this trade, all right? So we're gonna go in and talk about the triggers that you could use to enter this trade, and one in particular. So let's go in and have a look at a gold chart. So on this gold chart, we're looking at a weekly trend and the weekly trend, as you can see, is clearly up, okay? And then we've had a significant pullback. And what we found is it's pulled back to this weekly level of support, which it's double tested, okay? So we've seen it hold a few times. And on the daily, we're starting to see in a higher bottom. Boom, that's your level. There's three really clear reasons why I am looking at this level. So now let's get in and look at what do I have to see to trigger into this trade. Let's have a look at this 15 minute chart. So looking at gold, as I mentioned on this 15 minute chart, price is, we're zooming in on the 15 minute chart and you'll see that price is actually getting closer to that level I'd marked in. So that's that daily uh, level of support, putting in a higher bottom on the weekly, significant retracement, we've got it marked in. So now we're trying to decide what trigger might we use to get in. So let's have a look at price. It's literally come down and tagged it. And then we want to see what it does because the reality is price could just break through this and keep going lower. So we want to see that the level is being respected. So this 15 minute candle here, it's got down, it's kind of respected it so far. So we keep an eye on it and we start to see price moving and at this stage it isn't really over a few hours going below this level. So what we can do then as a strategy might be to say, okay, A, the level is being respected and then we're able to say, well, what do I need to see to happen as a trigger? So what I'm gonna do is draw in a simple trend line on this 15 minute chart. So I'll go in and look at the highest points here so this high point, this high point, what we call swing points, Duncan Cooper goes through them in detail in a webinar so that you can watch, but I'll draw in a trend line across these swing points. So my idea is, yes, the level so far is being respected and a lower top uh, trend line I'm drawing in there, you can see it probably isn't the best. I'll just sharpen that up a little bit. There you go, across this top and this top. So I'm saying the level's being respected. Now I wanna see a change of direction by looking at this um, trend line break. Okay, do we get a trend line break? What that tells me is the level's being respected and now price is changing direction in line with the level that I'm isolating, in this case, a longer term buy point. So let's keep moving forward moves into the open of Tokyo, and you'll notice that this, this level, it almost get, gets tagged, so we'll move this across. Some may say that is in fact a break, but let's keep going. And then eventually here. Right here, folks, we get this break to the upside. This trend line was broken. Just so you can see that here. So the trend line is clearly broken on this candle and it's closed above it. It's respected the point for the various reasons. And if we look down, and I'll just make this a little bit larger. You'll also see that our MACD had crossed up earlier. So we are in a phase where price is actually rising. Okay, we don't even get any kind of cross down. So we've got our MACD, which smooths out price rather than just having 
a break occur just because of one 15 minute candle. The MACD we can use to smooth out direction and the MACD had been crossed up. We now have a break of the trend line and that level being respected. So it allows us to isolate a, a trigger, okay? And that trigger has been triggered for multiple reasons while zooming in on the particular level we've chosen on the longer time frame for multiple reasons. So it's like a trigger within a bigger position or key level in the market. All right, let's go in and have a look at another example. So if we go to the, say, Euro against the US dollar, you'll see this trigger up here. Okay, this trigger last night, it was a daily level of resistance which coincided for various reasons but using this particular level you'll see price really did rally strongly up to this what we call a red pivot line which is an intraday resistance level and it also coincides with a larger time frame that we're looking for failure so if I was to use the same trigger method I'll come in and I'll look at two swing points say this down candle here and this bottom here. And if I was to connect those two, I could look at that and say, price has broken the trend line. It's respected this level in the market, like price never closed above this red pivot, okay, which is an intraday resistance level. It coincided with a longer term level in the market and therefore triggers us into a trade. If I look down at my MACD for confirmation, it's also crossed down, the blues crossed below the red. So this is an example where we're combining a smoothed out MACD, okay? We're looking at the trend line based on swing points that's broken and it's respecting that level in the market that's on the sell side. So folks, that's an example of a three punch trigger that you could use identifying changes of direction in line with the trend, the support and resistance longer term level, and of course, the deep retracement you might be looking for. All right, enjoy your trading and enjoy this trigger.